On most fine dining dinner tables, you're likely to find a rolled or folded piece of fabric in the middle of your setting. It's called a napkin. Yet the rules around them are little understood. Today, we examine the laws of linen. Napkins are more than objects of mere decoration. They are our fabric friends, supporting us during the messy moments of mastication. Napkins are easy to open. With a simple tug here, and a tiny pull there, the napkin is unfurled and draped decorously over the lap. In fine restaurants, the waiter may do this for you in a most dazzling display that never fails to impress. But where did the napkin come from? The tradition of wiping the face while eating was first started in ancient Greece by the Spartans. They'd wipe their faces with a raw lump of dough. It was a golden age where you could have your napkin and eat it too. Fine woven napkins are soft, durable and absorbent. So fine and sterile, they're used by waiters the world over to polish glassware and cutlery. Despite their incredible polishing power, a guest should never use a napkin to polish their own tableware. Or anything else for that matter. If your food misses your mouth, your napkin is your best friend. To use, simply dab the dirty face, paying particular attention to the corners of the mouth. If your dining partner has a blemish from their meal, it's perfectly acceptable to point this out. Remembering to dab and never wipe, wiping is wrong and simply isn't done. While napkins may be considered a cousin of the handkerchief, they must never be used in such a manner. You should never blow, wipe or sniff your nose at the table. Napkins also serve as a tool for communication. A napkin left on one seat says, I'm coming back, don't worry, I won't be long. A napkin left on the table says, I've finished my meal, thank you very much. A napkin waved in the air means, I give up. So there you have it, napkins. Your humble servant that does not mind how dirty you are, or how dirty you can get. You'll never know when you'll need fine dining's fabric friend.